Hey guys, welcome to another Zero tutorial. My name is Samuel Baermeister and I'm the owner here at Toolbooks. Today I'm going to take you through how to process expense claims in Zero. It's really straightforward, so it's just going to be a quick video. So to get to the expense claim section in Zero, you go down to the bottom right hand corner of the main screen. So from this dashboard here, just scroll down to the bottom right hand corner and you'll find expense claims. Now, just to give you a bit of background, an expense claim is generally when a director or employee of a company business makes a purchase with a personal card or cash and needs to be reimbursed by the business at a later date. They will lodge an expense claim with a copy of the receipt via the Zero Touch app, which is free to download. It uploads a receipt with the details they put in, and then the bookkeeper, accountant, or one of the business employees or owners can come in and have a look at the details, authorize that expense claim if it's valid, and then pay it from an account to reimburse that employee. So today we're going to start with authorization. So you can see here there's one awaiting authorization for $9. So I'll click into that. And it will tell you the name of the employee who submitted it and the date they submitted it how many receipts they've attached and the total amount. So it's just $9. And if I click into that line there, I get the summary. So they've gone to the chemist, bought some medicine and they've coded it to director's loan because it's a personal purchase. So there's no GST involved here. If I click on the picture over here with the one, I can then click into the image have a look at what was uploaded. So yes, I can see it was $9 for some Voltaren Rapid and it all looks correct. So if I'm happy with that, I can hit approve. And then I'm back to this screen here. So what I do is I put in the payment due date and the reporting date that you want this to show for. And I'm just going to do today's date and click authorize. Once that's authorized, it then moves into the next stage, which is awaiting payment. So now we've got an expense claim that has been accepted. It now needs to be paid to reimburse that employee. So pick one of these $9 ones I've put in here as a dummy. And I'm going to pay that employee back $9. So we're going to say we paid today, paid just from the main business bank account, and click paid. Once that's done, it will have reduced the bank account by $9. So when you actually transfer that amount to the employee, you can come in and do your normal bank reconciliation here and match it to the expense claim. Um, another way people like to do that, instead of paying it from the business account directly like I did, I'll go back in, you can choose a different account to pay it from. So. If you set up a clearing account, for example, you can say paid from the clearing account. And then at the end of the month, you can pay the bulk amount sitting in the clearing account to the employees involved and reduce that balance to zero. So either option works perfectly fine. Now, if you have an example where you have a receipt that needs to be processed as an expense claim, but it hasn't been done through the app, you can email that into the file or upload it directly here into the files inbox in the top right hand corner. For this demonstration, I've got the same receipt here. I'm going to click on that. And with the settings cog on the right hand side, I can choose expense claim receipt. So if I click that, it just takes me through the same process. So it gives me a copy of the receipt here and I can manually enter that in. So go to chemist warehouse. Nine dollars for some medicine. Put it to the director's loan because it was a personal purchase and save that. What will happen then is I submit that for approval, which is what the employee would do through the app. And we're back to the same step here. I can go into a waiting authorization and there it is ready for me to go through, approve it and then pay it. 
And there you have it. That's how you process expense claims in Zero. Let me know if you have any questions by posting a comment below.